Pawn shops and flea markets have reputations for selling stolen goods. But an antique shop? Deputies raided one today, and they say the shelves were filled with stolen stuff from people's homes, including artwork. Here's News 13's Alex Tomlin. Jessica, investigators say the owner knew his merchandise was hot, stolen that is, and now he's in jail. And detectives have a lot of loot to sort through. We're estimating um, over $80,000 worth of property. You name it, investigators pulled it out of this antique store in Santa Fe. Same with the thrift store, two doors down. During the search, we discovered several items uh, to include electronics, artwork, um, jewelry, um, and some of those items were tied to uh, several burglaries. These bronze statues alone are worth $64,000. Investigators with a newly formed burglary task force have been watching the stores for weeks and saw some well-known thieves peddling loot inside, even though they moved in as quick as they could. I think there is a lot of property that has gone in and out of that uh, business that has been sold or transported to other locations um, that we may never track down. The owner of the two stores, 62-year-old Clarence Cadenac, is in jail tonight for taking in and reselling the stolen items. Investigators say it'll take them some time to sort through the stuff, and they may even have a viewing for burglary victims to see if any of the items are theirs. Investigators say Cadenac also owns the shopping center where the businesses were located. They're also investigating to see if he's misusing his business permit. Jessica? Okay, Alex, investigators expect to make more arrests once they nail down which items are linked to which burglary.